these are the, um, I would call them more dragon eggs than crackle stars. They're pretty big and I'm going to use them a particular way that I'll show. But I've made these dragon eggs, large crackle stars using Lloyd's method and using the crackle stars Lloyd's formula. Um, I originally started with about 150 grams of this new bismuth trioxide from Chris to try out down at, fire, down at uh, fireworkscookbook.com. So basing the formula on 150 grams of bismuth trioxide. I made that formula. I did, I wanted to try using the coarser um, magnalium and the larger cut stars using the coarse magnalium that people have talked about in that crackle thread. So I used 60 mesh magnalium and I also added 5% fine spherical tie, minus 40 mesh fine spherical tie, which was 10 grams to that batch. That batch used 6 grams of green dot powder and about a quarter cup of acetone made using the method in the Crackle Stars tutorial using Lloyd's method for making Crackle Stars. Once the putty firmed up, I, I made a, a patty a little less than a quarter inch thick and cut it into quarter inch cubes and then using um, isopropyl alcohol wetting the stars immediately I rolled on some monocoppa prime which I've primed them with they end up being close to somewhere between 5 16 and 3 8 inch diameter stars that way what I'm doing like I said I'm making more dragon eggs I'm taking a piece of masking tape and I am rolling a piece of visco fuse and a star up in the masking tape and this is sort of how dragon eggs are have been typically used um, and that's a light and throw kind of device then I'll film one of these in action um, during the daytime and also uh, film one at night since I do have the titanium in there I'm interested in seeing what one of them looks like at night how much of that titanium is being lit and thrown out of the star so I'll film a couple of these and uh, show them to you so far th these go off with a big bang in my testing so that bismuth I'm convinced is a good for is a good uh, chemical to use in these crackle uh, stars and it's pretty reasonably priced too